All right, what's up guys, this is Jake, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your navigation menus inside of your Shopify store. So I'm gonna be showing you how you can add links to the navigation. I'm gonna be telling you where you should put certain links in regards to which menu. And I'm also gonna show you how you can create drop-down menus as well as multi-level menus, as well as mega menus. And really quick, before we get into the video, if you want to offer wholesale pricing on your store or you want to run giveaways on your store, be sure to check out my two apps in the description linked down below. And let's get back to the video. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to take a look at what we can create to begin with. So we can see on this demo store here, this is what the main top menu looks like. And we can see I created a bit of a drop down right here. So we can see this is the catalog and then it breaks into two different categories here. And then if we open up these categories, we can see there's a product within these categories here. So this is a multi-level menu right here. And then down at the bottom, we have the standard footer menu. And if we take a look at a live store right here, we can see that this brand here is using a mega menu. So we can see it's doing a similar thing where it's the same amount of levels as this except it's just a lot more visually appealing so we can see if we hover over shop we can see the three different sub levels right here and then below these three different sub levels is the next level down here so we have the parent level the child level and the grandchild level down here so i'm going to show you how you can create this as well but keep in mind that a mega menu is only going to be possible out of the box with certain themes so a lot of free themes do not have the capability to use a mega menu straight out of the box so it's either going to require some code customization by hiring a developer or you're going to have to use an app but i'm going to be showing you how to set up both anyway because i don't know what theme you're using so we're going to just go through all of it so in order to edit navigation you need to go to online store navigation right here and you're going to see that normally by default you have two menus here so you have main menu and footer menu and you can always create a new menu at any time right here by clicking on add menu so i'll go ahead and do that right now so this menu is going to just be the example menu and then we can add in menu items so in this case on this demo store it's primarily populated with snowboards so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make two different product categories that are going to be used here so i'll make one called snowboards and i'm going to just have it linked to nothing right now and then we add it in and then i'll make one called skis and whenever you're adding menu items all you have to do is give it a name and then we can just choose what we want to link it to. So we have all of these different items auto populating from our store. So we can link to the home page. We can link to search collections. If we open up collections, we can see all of our different collections in here. We can see all of our products. If we open that up, we can see all of our pages, etc. So this makes it really easy to find links or you can just paste the link in right here as well. Especially you're going to have to paste in a link if you're linking to a site that's outside of your domain or if you don't want it to link to anything you just want it to be like a placeholder then you have to put in the number sign right here so i'm going to add that in and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some subcategories to this so we're going to add two categories to each one so in this case we'll do beginner and i am going to add this in right here and i want this to be a subcategory of snowboards so in order to make it a subcategory you have to drag it under and then drag it to the right and then we can see that what that does is that creates a drop down right here so now we can add another menu item so in this case i'll add advanced and we can add that in right here so now we can see we have a drop down so i'm going to go ahead and create that same drop down for skis really quickly so I went ahead and created the same drop down for skis here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a third level. So I'm going to add another menu item to snowboards. And in this case, I'm going to put it under the beginner section. So under the beginner section here, I'm going to 
let's just say pick one of my products to link to and I'm going to add it in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it under beginner and to the right. So that's going to make it a sub item under this category. So I'm going to go ahead and add in one more product under here as well. So we will add this in and then I'll do the same under advanced. So we'll add one product in under here and then I will drag it over. And we can see that now we have a multi-level menu. So it's very easy to create that inside of Shopify here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out this menu just a little bit more. So typically you have two different menus. Like we said, you have your main menu up here and then you have a footer menu down at the bottom. So typically what you'll notice on a lot of brands is that the main menu is pretty much primarily just going to be showcasing the primary things that visitors want to see. So this is pretty much just going to be the shopping pages, the product pages, and like a search bar over here. So you can see that they have shop, they have a bit about their brand, they have loyalty and rewards, and they have saved items. So the main menu is pretty simple. There isn't like 10 links up here, but if you come down here, to the footer menu you can see this is where they deal with like shipping information faq about them uh, returns uh, and all of their terms of service and privacy policies etc so you don't want to put these type of links up in the main menu because it's just going to clutter it so you just want your primary links in the main menu and then these secondary links down here in the footer menu so getting back to it what i'm going to do is i'll just add in a couple more placeholder links to this right here. So let's say I'll just put in something like our story up here, just so this menu is a little bit more filled out and I will click on save. So now let's see what this menu actually looks like on our store. So if we go over here to online store, we're gonna see what it looks like on Dawn first, which is a theme that doesn't have a mega menu. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like on the enterprise theme, which is a theme that does have a mega menu. So if we open up the customizer, for our theme here we can see that we're first going to have to change our menu to the one we just created so we're going to have to go to our header up here and then we're going to have to change our menu here so change menu and we're going to change it to the example menu that we just created so i'm going to click select click save and now we can see our menu showing up right here so we have the two categories we just created. So we have snowboards and then we have the beginner and advanced. And if we open them up, we can see the different subcategories right here. And then we have the same thing over here, but we can see we didn't create the third layer here for skis. So we can see that creating the multi-level menu is very easy, but now I wanna show you how you can set this up with a mega menu. So if we go back I'm going to open up the enterprise theme customizer now. So once we're inside here, we're going to click on header and I'm going to change this menu to the example menu that we just created. And we can see that it's still going to look pretty standard here. And that's because we haven't enabled a mega menu yet. So if I were to go ahead and add a block, we can add a column mega menu sidebar or button now depending on the theme that you have the types of mega menus that you might be able to create are going to vary and once again if you have a base theme like dawn that doesn't offer this by default you can go into the shopify app store here and search for mega menu and there's a lot of apps in here that will let you create something like this so in this case we'll add in this column mega menu here and in this case we just need to add in the link name of any link that we want to add into a mega menu so in this case i'm just going to click snowboards and we and now that we can see that i typed in snowboards we can see that this turned it into a mega menu right here so what we can do here is we can see if i open up skis we can see this is what it looks like standard but then if i open up snowboards we can see that now we have this mega menu which looks a lot like this menu right here so we can see that i think this looks a lot better and more intuitive for the user i'm going to save this really quick and now if we scroll down here 
for a lot of themes that have mega menus or if you're using an app there's going to be different customization options that you can use here so we can see here that we can add in different types of headings so we have collection images so you can choose to display collection images if you like inside of the mega menu in this case we have it linked to any collection so it's not going to show up so what we're we can also add in promotions here so for example, let's say we wanted to select an image that we want to add in here. Let's say that we're going to be promoting just one of these random snowboards here. So let's say we add in this image. We'll see that when we open this up, we can now see that this promotional image is showing up right here. We can change the minimum height. So if we wanted to make it bigger, you can drag it to make it bigger right here. Let's say we dragged to this to where it shows the whole photo we can add text to this so we could be like 50% off this snowboard right here and we can see that it's adding text on top of that and then we could actually link to this if we wanted to so we can link right here to products and actually link to this snowboard right here inside of our mega menu and then we could add another promotion if we wanted to. So it could be something completely unrelated. So like this random ebook here that we add in. You could add in if you wanted to and we could add text and everything to it the same way. And then down here you can add badges as well. So this type of feature is going to vary depending on the theme you're using. So the one thing to note is that every theme that has a mega menu, the mega menu is probably going to operate a little bit differently. And if you're using one of these apps as well, it's going to operate a little bit differently. But for the most part, it's generally going to be the same principle, especially the foundation of the menu that we created when you're creating these multiple levels, no matter whether you're going to be using a basic menu like this, or whether you're going to be using a mega menu, that basic navigational creation process is going to be the same. So what we can do is click save. And then one thing I would encourage you doing whenever you're creating mega menus is swapping over to the mobile view just to see what the menu actually looks like. So we can open it up we can open this up right here. And we can see that this is what the mega menu actually looks like on mobile. So we can see it still looks pretty good. So overall, I'm going to go ahead and back out now and come back to the navigation. And we can see that this is how you can actually create navigation menus inside of your Shopify store. So depending on the theme that you're using is going to depend on whether or not you're able to create a mega menu. But every single theme, no matter what, can create multi-level menus and drop-down menus. So no matter what, every theme can follow this specific structure right here. So that said, if you found this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.